Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and should. Saloon Driver once again coming to you with another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. Although it's a really actually a good watch and I wouldn't mind owning one. But I did get this watch uh, in to uh, play with for a few days and review. Uh, thanks to my uh, friend and fellow YouTuber, uh, Kevin, over at the uh, Wrong Time Watch channel. And he, in turn, got the watch from another uh, friend and fellow watch YouTuber, uh, Chris, over at the Watch Lounge. Um, this is uh, another uh, RZE watch. Uh, you may recall I earlier uh, released a video of one of their Endeavor watches. Uh, this watch also came in at the pretty much the same time, well, exactly at the same time. Um, this is one of their Valor watches. A little bit different um, watch uh, for a different purpose, I, I guess you could call it. And uh, again, a really nice watch from RZE, which is one of the micro brands out there that uh, up until now, when the Endeavor and this watch, the Valor showed up, I had heard of RZE, but I had never had the opportunity to um, play with one before. Of course, their outer box or outer sleeve has uh, got their company um, motto, Assembled for Adventure which does seem to be pretty accurate, I've got to say. And inside is the uh, same box as the Endeavor had with the same uh, black leatherette pouch. Uh, this one, the contents is slightly different, of course, because, you know, different watch. But inside you have uh, uh, some of the same things. You have some stuff in here. You have a, uh, a thank you card from RZE, which is always nice. You have one of these uh, decals like you had with the Endeavor and a very nice logoed microfiber cloth. Yeah, all very nice. And of course, no, no um, screwdriver in this one because, you know, it's a, not a... Uh, not a bracelet, but in this case, a, a strap. Get to that in a minute. And inside you have this, um, they call it the Valor GT. And it's, uh, it's a beauty. It really is. I, I think this watch is very, very stylish. It, and obviously, you can see it's a chronograph. You know, the pushers are here and here. In fact, I want to start the chronograph and let it run for a bit while we talk about it. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one real flaw to this watch. And that is the lack of running seconds. There's no running second hand on, on this watch. And that uh, that's something that I don't like in watches. I generally like to have uh, a running second hand, so I know that the watch is running, uh, quite frankly. Uh, but that's a nitpick, I, I realize. Now, um, let's talk about the watch. Obviously, we are dealing with uh, a, a black DLC coated watch and a rubber strap. Now, you know, normally I'm not a big fan of rubber straps. Uh, except when they're this rubber strap, this this uh, FKM rubber strap, which I was introduced to by Zelos when they came out with their Mirage 2, which was one of their high-end Halo watches, and the Titanium Damascus uh, watch that I bought came with an FKM rubber strap, and this strap, these straps, these FKMs, I've, I've encountered them more and more since I got that Mirage 2. These straps are silky smooth. They feel great. They don't feel sticky. They don't feel tacky. They don't feel 
quite honestly, they don't feel like cheap rubber. I mean, and they're flexible. They they, they don't stink. Um, and they're just fantastic uh, rubber straps. And this is literally the first rubber strap, these FKMs, that I've ever encountered that I actually like them. And would put them on watches uh, if... Uh, if I was so inclined. There's a little thread there that's just annoying the hell out of me. Anyway. Now, let's look at the watch face real quick. You have a tachometer scale on the outside. So you can time uh, a race car or a racing boat or some kind of event like that with the stopwatch. You see the, the, the stopwatch second hand is this big orange hand here. You have a minute scale at the nine o'clock position, which is a full 60 minute scale. And you have a 24 hour uh, dial at the three o'clock. I wish they would have put a running seconds hand at the three o'clock. Um, I don't know that this movement supports that. Um, I'd have to do a little more research. I, I just thought of that question just now and I didn't research that obviously so I don't know if the movement that's in here supports it or not but I think a 24 hour scale is kind of a waste but that's just me uh, we have a screw down crown here it disengages with an audible and tactile pop you have first position here where you can set the date and second position will uh, allow you to set time. I don't know if this movement hacks or not because no second hand, but it doesn't stop the chronograph. And of course you can screw that back in and get your full water resistance back. Now, your upper um, button here is the start stop for the chronograph. You can see I stop it there and I can start it again and you can see the chronograph needle doesn't jump which means that most likely inside here is a vertical clutch <clears throat> which uh, you know prevents jumping of the, of the second hand when you re-engage it and I can stop it and then if I use the lower button here it'll reset and it, I believe this is a flyback Yep, it is a flyback, and as you can see, this watch resets perfectly to zero, zero, or zero and 60. It just works. You have a titanium case back. In fact, the, 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 the case itself is titanium with a DLC coating according to the, um, according to the website and very very short lugs with a quick release on the uh, on the straps so it's very easy to change to something else but i gotta tell you and i don't say this very often about rubber straps but why would you want to change this strap it is i i, I really really am am very happy with um with fkm uh straps not sponsored anyway put it on for you so we can get a wrist shot there we go and you can see on my seven and a quarter inch wrist this watch fits beautifully you see down the barrel shot i have plenty of room on my wrist uh, i think wrist size is down to about six and a half could wear this very comfortably lots of room on the strap so people with bigger wrists can um can wear this and people with smaller wrists can wear this and you know it's a rubber strap if you did need to punch a hole in, in it you could do that fairly easy sign buckle as you can see sign logoed crown as you can see just a very, very, very nice watch. If you if you're in the market for a chronograph, you couldn't go wrong here. I'm really. 
Got my sheet of facts here so I can tell you the particulars of this watch. As I said, this is the RZE Robert Zebra Edward Valor GT in black. <clears throat> Hell, it even says that right here. Valor GT black. Uh, there are two versions of this watch. There is the rubber strap version like this for $369 US. If you prefer a titanium bracelet, you're going to have to pony up another 90 bucks. $459 US for that. Now, snapshot in time. This is mid-November when I'm making this video. So, you have to bear that in mind. The prices can change. Supply and availability can change. Uh, I will leave a link to RZE's website in the description so you can check them out see what the current prices are if you're watching this in the, in the distant future but as of mid-november 2021 369 for the rubber strap 459 for the bracelet it is a 42 millimeter case 12 and a half millimeters thick 48 millimeters on the tip to tip and oh by the way these are uh, drilled lugs so if you have um, if you put on something that doesn't have quick release uh, spring bars and you want to get it out again uh, the drilled lugs make that a lot easier it is a 20 millimeter lug width the strap does taper slightly down to 18 millimeters at the buckle which you can see here there is a ever so slight taper from here down here all those measurements came from the RZE website it is a titanium case with their ultra hex coating <clears throat> the movement inside is a VK 64 mecha quartz so you're going to get very good accuracy um, unfortunately, as I said before, and I'll say again, it doesn't have a running seconds hand. So to me, that's a negative. Now, it's a minor negative. Some people will say, you know, you're nitpicking, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. <laughs> say what you will. I prefer a second hand, either in a sub dial or um, a main hand uh, on the same axis as the hour and minute. But that's me. 200 meter water resistance. So even though it doesn't use a dive scale on the bezel, this bezel, by the way, is fixed. Um, it can be swum with. Swum? Yes, swum. You can swim with it. You can dive with it. You can snorkel with it. Uh, just make sure the crown is screwed down. That's all. And the pushers are, are sealed well. Sapphire crystal. Flat crystal. And as I mentioned multiple times, the aforementioned FKM rubber strap. Nice thing about the underside design is it gives you a little airspace against your skin so your wrist can breathe a bit. Twin keepers, you know, a little, little feature here. This keeper is locked in with these little, um, I guess, keeper guards. And then this keeper can't get too close to it, so but it does slide freely. So at least this keeper will remain fixed, which is a nice convenience item. It's really a nicely designed watch um, with the, you know, obviously with the uh, missing running seconds hands. But again, some people that bothers like me, some people it doesn't. But other than that, it is a well-designed, well-laid-out, easy-to-read watch. Lots of loom. Easy-to-read uh, chronograph seconds hands uh, because it's a contrasting orange. Uh, the sub-dial hand on, on the 3 o'clock, the 24-hour hand is easy to read being orange against the black background. The chronograph minute hand being white against the black background, also easy to read. So a very, very functional watch looks good uh comfortable to wear doesn't weigh a lot if 
fantastic strap. I mean, what's not to love about this watch? It really is a nice watch. I think they've, and I like the subtle date window at the six o'clock. It's color matched uh, to the watch. So it's there, but it's not obtrusive. So definitely a, a recommend. It's a great watch. I'll leave a link to RZE's uh, website down below. You can check out all their offerings. So, if you found this video to be entertaining, informative, useful, please click that thumbs up. The, uh, the thumbs up uh, button is useful for the channel. It does make the channel and the videos more noticeable to the YouTube search algorithms. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. Uh, however, if you are going to leave nasty comments, trolling comments, or comments with links to bad places on the internet, I will just simply block the commenter and delete the comment. If you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. Glad you found my channel. I hope you will stay. I hope you will uh, watch many videos, and I hope you will subscribe. Please click the subscribe button. And share the videos around. I do encourage uh, sharing the videos around. Uh, but do click the subscribe button. I am trying to grow the channel every day. And when you do click the subscribe button, also click the bell icon next to it. So that when I upload new material, you will be alerted to that. And when I go live, I do live streams every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And I try and do other live streams during the week uh, if I can. If you have clicked the bell icon, you will be alerted to when those live streams start and you can come by and join the fun. Meanwhile, as I often say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. I ask that everyone, please, subscribe or not, be careful, stay safe, stay healthy, stay well. I'll see you again soon.